I hope. I hope. I hope. I hope I never get sick again. Imagine a future where we won't have to do surgery, that we won't have to do operations to cure disease. I wish surgery didn't have to hurt. Imagine the ability to completely eliminate pain. Imagine what a transformation that would be. Imagine the future. The surgeon will be able to look underneath the surface with x-ray vision. Imagine harnessing the immune system to wipe out certain diseases. Imagine where we had so much information on each child that we can personalize surgical care and change how patients are cared for. We want to break the boundaries and bring everything together to focus on children in the future. This will essentially unleash technologies and cures for children all across the world. The Sheikh Zayed Institute for Pediatric Surgical Innovation is a partnership between Children's National Medical Center and the United Arab Emirates in which we are trying to take pediatric surgery to a new frontier in the next five to ten years. This is going to be the single biggest initiative in pediatric research in our lifetimes. This gift is to look to the future of pediatric surgery. This gift is to make a difference for children in the future. What the Sheikh Zayed Institute will allow us to do is bring the best and brightest of researchers, doctors, experts, what is the dream team of creating children's health care. That accelerates what each of us were doing individually probably by 20 to 30 years. What we're doing is bringing these all together to focus on the whole problem of surgery in a child to make it better, to make it more precise, to eliminate pain, to cure cancer, to do things that we've never done before. This is going to change all that fear and anxiety that parents and children feel. If surgery were to be better and less painful, it would mean the world to children. If surgery had no pain at all, I would be shouting and dancing. <laughs> I'll never forget the day that we were rolling her down to surgery. Her father said to her, Amanda, you will run with your sisters again. If we can say five or ten years in future, if all this procedure will be easier. If it will be shorter, it will be in less pain or in less stress. For sure, it will be better for us. child is a child regardless of where they live. I wouldn't want any other child to go through the pain that my daughter went through if it could be avoided. Imagine the ability to completely eliminate pain. We can tell a parent that we will do surgery on their child and throughout this whole hospitalization, the child is not going to experience any pain whatsoever. That's well within our grasp in the next five to ten years. Imagine a scenario where we took a little bit of your genetic information and could run a gene test on it and know exactly which drug to use, which anesthesia to use that we could immediately predict how to treat that patient, how they'd best respond, their pain management. What we're trying to do is understand the genetic makeup of that patient, the disease of that patient. To bring all that information together, all that expertise together, and fundamentally change how patients are cared for. Imagine a future where if your child had a tumor and needed surgery, instead of having the big operation, we harness the immune system to develop a vaccine or a treatment to wipe out that tumor. With immunotherapies, therapies that the patient's own body will harness and fight that tumor. The goal of the bioengineering initiative is to make surgery more precise, to really make surgery smarter. Imagine the future when the surgeon's operating. He won't be limited to the surface. He or she will be able to look underneath the surface. We can look deep into the body without even having to make a big incision to get there. The surgeon will be able to see the biology of the cells. He will be able to distinguish cancer from normal tissue. Finding ways preoperatively for the surgeon to know exactly what they're doing. We're breaking down the boundaries between the scientist and the surgeon, between the anesthesiologist and the radiologist, between the geneticist and the surgeon. 
not only provide health care to children in D.C., children in the United States, and children in Abu Dhabi, but children all across the world. We are trying to break boundaries on how people are going to treat disease, and specifically surgical disease, in the next five to ten years. These advances will fundamentally change everything. Having my boy back and coming back to me, I'm feeling happy, really, really happy and really grateful to the Children's Hospital. Children's has been the best home away from home. Children's has saved Amanda's life. People at Children's Hospital do very great miracles. We imagine one day we won't do surgery as we know it. We want to get to the point where we don't have to do surgery. That's the great dream here. This partnership will allow us to realize these dreams not just for children here or nationally, but globally. This is going to change the lives of millions of children all over the world.